Today has been the slowest day ever. Like I wait three minutes, three, three and a half, four minutes to unmute my mic and turn the music down. That was the longest three and a half minutes ever. Today is so slow. Oh, I don't know why it's so weird. Maybe that's why I got my work done so early. Anyway, hello. Uh, what will I do today? Um, I was just about to get to that. So, today's plan. None. I have none. No plan. I, I have nothing. Nothing. I have no idea. All right, so last stream was Friday. And what I did was I picked up an extreme. It was broken signal. And I beat it in just over an hour. And it took me 440-something attempts. I forgot to tweet that out. So, what if I do that again? <laughs> I feel like I need a plan. The shitty list. Okay. You know what? Sure. So this is the the, the poopy list. All right. So what 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 have I beaten that's on here? Let's let's do let's do Crimson Planet. I want to I want to see I want to see poopy Crimson Planet. I don't even know if I remember the like the gameplay for Crimson Planet. Oh my god! I forgot that this level can be like free, kind of. Oh my god! This wave is so easy. Dude, it's like I can actually do it. Yeah, never forget when I did the first wave on 60 hertz, literally my first attempt. I think that was probably more bizarre than me doing the Kinos wave in four times speed my first attempt. Oh my god, it's it's free, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, oh my god. I can I can just do it. I can just do the level. Like <laughs> It's so, it's so nice. But this is also like at the bottom of the, 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 the list, you know? Like I'm gonna play the harder ones and actually kind of have trouble, maybe. Wait, let me, let me practice this again. Can I beat this? <laughs> oh man, that would have been really awesome, actually, I think. Cool. But this is like at the low end of the list. So like the the ones like how many attempts was that? Um, six hundred. May as well have been six hundred. You know what I'm saying? That was number one hundred and forty-seven. Like should I just go up and do bloodbath? Like this. The <laughs> These images, dude. These fucking Fortnite text images. I hate them. Okay, so it was either I'm sight reading this or I die like right away. Yeah, okay. If I was gonna die anywhere, it was gonna be there. See, the fun thing about these levels is like, a lot of extremes are like, generally pretty fun. Like the gameplay I actually enjoy. It's just, some of them are just too hard to be fun, you know? Like, I think Crimson Planet is a pretty decent example. It's just too hard to be fun, so it sucks. But then you play an easy version of it and it's awesome because you can actually do the gameplay. All right, what's next? Let's do auditory breaker. This this has to be easy, right? This absolutely has to be easy. So I want to tell this uh, this uh, story. I told this on Friday, but I want to tell it again because not many people were there when I told it. The story of my first ever hallucination. So on Wednesday, I was literally just sitting in class and like I'm listening to the lecture and everything and I'm trying to take notes and all of a sudden I see a piece of paper on my desk and then I see the piece of paper fall off my desk and I hear the piece of paper fall off my desk. Like I swear there was a piece of paper there, right? It's it's so, it's such a minor hallucination, but it makes sense. I jump, like I physically jump out of my chair and I try to grab it and I look down, there ain't no fucking piece of paper on my desk. And then my friend next to me, she's like, you okay? And I, I, I look down again, there's no piece of paper. I look at her, I'm like, I, I'm just so confused because like, I didn't know what the hell just happened. I thought I literally just dropped a piece of fucking paper off my goddamn desk. Then I realized it's probably just the fact that last week I was extremely sleep deprived because last week I didn't have a single day where I slept over six hours just because I was super busy. It's such a small thing, but it, it's the fact that it happened. It was kind of legitimately terrifying. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't wanna play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at that death. I just don't want to play it anymore. Shockbreaker. Holy shit. Wait, no, I need to play. I absolutely need to play this. I just want to see how like accurate this is. So far, it's actually pretty good. People that make these levels are actually good at like making them like, you know, the actual fucking level. So like doing the click pattern via like the original level won't get you screwed over, you know?
I stand by the fact that my part in Shockbreaker is some of the worst gameplay I've ever made. I just was not thinking when I made that part. This part was completely mutilated by decoration. Like, Gizbro's part was the best in the level until they, until it was decorated, and now it's one of the worst. And it's not Gizbro's fault in any way whatsoever. Shockbreaker, I do think, is, like, a really fun level. It was just completely over by decoration in some cases, and I just didn't fix some things that probably should have been fixed. What do I do for a living? This. Although, for the first time ever, I'm gonna be making money on something that's not Twitch and YouTube stuff. I'm hopefully gonna be a music theory tutor on campus, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, the campus pays you. Like, it, it's, it's campus employment. Great. I will never go for a top five ever again, ever. I'm in the stage now where I just want to have fun. I don't really care about being good at the game anymore. I just want to do what I want, you know? So literally, I think the chances of me doing a top five or even a top 10 is extremely small now. I I, I heard shitty verdant landscape is number three. I'm doing it then. Oh my god, the dual ship is actually possible. This is the best level ever. Like, it just is. I will always love this level. I'm gonna be 50, I'm gonna be like, no, I'm gonna be like 80 years old on my deathbed and I'm just gonna wanna play this. Oh yeah, it is Joe Biden's birthday today. He's 80 years old. Joe Biden is the first US person to ever be 80. 80! Homie was born in World War II and he's president in 2022. Guys, have I told you this is the best level? Get guys, guys, this is the best level in the game. Have I told you? Guys, I don't think I've told you that this is the best level ever. I didn't know you hated this level so much. <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, I've just been lying this whole time. I just fucking despise Verdant Landscape. Ugh, stupid Verdant Landscape level. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> The same thing that happened on Crimson Plane, I go to practice, I just get five years into the level. If I get this stream edited, I'm gonna make the title, I beat Verdant Landscape, but in 1.0? Yep, 1 million views, yep. That that title alone, with the with the, with the the right thumbnail, will literally net me 1 million views, I promise. And then like, it has like the, like, what would the thumbnail be? It would be like, it would be like actual Verdant Landscape, here's the clickbait. It would be actual Verdant Landscape played in layout mode, but it'd be one of the dumbass waves or ships. And then the thumbnail, the thumbnail face, like here, Alex, here's a thumbnail face. And then here's another one. And here's another one. There you go. You have three options. Also, fun fact, I'm sure a lot of you noticed this already, but whenever thumbnails are made for my videos, like sometimes I make them, sometimes Alex makes them that, uh, after editing them, they're always taken directly from the VOD instead of like taken, like a picture taken outside of it. Like the faces are always taken from the VOD, so they're completely authentic. dies there. What the fuck? I've literally never seen anyone die there in my life. Yeah, noob. That's me. Tommy4400. Got it, guys. I'm a noob. The word noob is so fucking dumb. Like, I know it means, like, newbie or whatever, but, like, noob. Like, say that to someone's face now, and they'll- you probably will get punched in the face. History did not repeat itself, thankfully. I beat the third hardest crappy level. 83, that felt like so much more than 83 attempts. There's the thumbnail again, the thumbnail. I wanna play this again. Wait, what does shitty plus do? Oh, oh, I get it. Guys, do you get it? I, I certainly get it. Greatest straight flight ever, only to fly right into the spike. Good job, man. I have a little thing to tell you. I, I'm so mad that I can't beat this like right away that I'm just gonna give you guys a random fucking tip on straight fly. So. The thing about straight fly is that a lot of people, like, when you have to, like, if a level's dumb enough to have, like, those portals in a straight fly, instead of, like, because I know a lot of people, like, try to, like, just keep spamming through it, a lot of the time you'll just be screwed over because, like, you'll either go too far up or too far down because your hold and release will basically, like, be right back to back. What you have to do is you literally, like, for a yellow portal, you just have to release right before it. Like, just omit your last click. A lot of people do that, but some people just don't realize that that's a thing that you probably should do. Let me space them out a little bit more. Omit your last click before the portal. So you just kind of, like, you kind of just, like, rest into it so you can just uh, start clicking once you hit the portal again. That's that's my straight fly tip for you. If a level is dumb enough to have portals in a straight fly like that, that's my tip for you. Is Zodiac a thing? Yes, it's number 55. Yeah, I close my eyes and I'm back in my old apartment. My exact location is my exact room and desk that I beat this with. Those were the times, dude. Can't believe I'm nostalgic over 
in 2019. I got nostalgic over 2020 the other day. Somehow, I just did. I was nostalgic over goddamn 2020. <laughs> That's so weird. In just over a month, 2020 will be three years ago. And also, by extension, Sigma will be a four-year-old level. I verified Sigma on January 2nd, 2019. In just over a month, it will be January 2nd, <laughs> 2023. Four years old. Oh, I don't like that, dude. I'm old. I'm fucking old. I'm gonna be 20 next year. That's crazy. Oh yeah, GD will be 10 years old next year. That is true. We've spent over half the goddamn lifespan of the game in the same fucking update. Can we please just end it? <laughs> Please. Don't let the game- Rob, Rob, if you're somehow hearing this, do not let the game get to 10 years old before you release 2.2. Do not let it get to that. That would be horrible. Genuinely just awful. This game was not- this game was just over three years old when this update was released. It was three and a third years old. Yeah, we all thought 2.1 weight was like horrible. That was like a year and a third. And then we're 2.2. We're coming up on six years now. Six years. In two months, it'll be six years since this goddamn update came out. <sighs> All right, I I think I've had enough. <laughs> I just wanted to stream today because I had time. Uh, hopefully the, uh, the the crappy list section of this stream will be a video. Yeah, about that actually. The levels on it are like super fun just because like you, you take rated versions of extremes or just demons and you make them easier. Even for players like me, or right, I've beaten like all this shit. It's fun to just play them without having to worry about every minuscule little timing. But it's also great for players that aren't really able to play extremes because they're too hard and you, you can feel like you're actually playing the level and it's, it's really fun. I appreciate you guys hanging out and I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye.